Okay, guys. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. That box is huge. Warlord Games, Liberty or Death. America erupts in bloody rebellion as citizen soldiers face the king's men on the field of battle. You got that, man. This is the Revolutionary War, man. Gonna have to open this up, man. There's gonna be a lot. Let's do it. Okay, first on the back of the box, uh, we got, you know, black powder, liberty or death, and a little explanation of 18th century saw revolution in Europe with Louis being deposed by the mob, preceded by a rebellion in the British colonies, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, in this box, you get a, a laser cut uh, scenery by foreground, which is really cool because foreground is really good stuff. And as normal, um, it's the plastics, the miniatures are all by... Uh, War Games Factory, uh, you know, Warlord, Warlord bought out War Games Factory, and these are all War Games Factory miniatures. They were not made by Warlord. And um, you get the laser cut wooden blockhouse, and you get the laser cut uh, wooden snake fence right here. So, uh, three resin gun, uh, I cannot ever pronounce that right, Gabions, Gabons, Gabions. Um, Three plastic mounted commanders, 90 plastic British infantry, 120 continental infantry, 30 Hessians, three plastic field guns, six or nine pounders, a Molly Pitcher figure, she's right there, and eight plastic woodland Indians, three casualty figures. I don't understand why they just put three casualty figures in there. Why not just left them out? I don't know. But anyways, just me. And then full color flags for each regiment. You do not get the black powder uh, rule book in this. It's just the miniatures only. So, um, and there is a lot in here. Uh, so, all right, let's get to the miniatures. As I was saying, there is a lot of miniatures in here. I mean, I never had a, a box with this many sprues in it. This is a big project here. Uh, this will take a while to do. I, I was thinking my goal would be by bef around July. I was hoping to do this before July 4th, but I'll tell you now, this is not going to, it's not possible. So, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. These are your resin. These are probably the, the how do you say, Galbion. I don't know how you say it. But yeah, so they're all made out of resin. Very well detailed. So that's pretty cool. And, um, sprues, uh, yeah, it's going to be <laughs> British and, and the, and British and the, oh, whatever, I'm brain fart, sorry guys. You got your, uh, British infantry here, I believe, yep, this is your British, British infantry command, um, there's the details on them. Very nice. Um, they're actually very nice. They're, like I said before, uh, War Games Factory minis, they're detailed, they're nice, but they're fiddly. Um, yeah, and more British infantry. Uh, here, let's go ahead. I'll show you. Yeah, there you go. So you get, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I think 14 sprues here. 13 or 14 sprues here. So, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> and then uh, here's your uh, little pamphlet. And this was, ah, uh, Marilla packed this for us. So thank you, Marilla. And then here's your Continental Army Infantry Regiment. How, you know, the build and what goes with what and stuff. And, there, oh, and there's all your flags. So, yep, your British Infantry Regiment. Um, they're pretty much the same. Uh, you just paint them different colors. <laughs> pretty much. So, and here you go. There, I'm just doing this real brief here. And there's the flags on the back. And there's your Hessian re re Regiment with their flags. So, got that. 
and then uh, your colonial mission militia which you know i just did a video on these guys and the woodland indians not too long ago and your field artillery this is going to be new to me so i never built the field artillery so it's just a one page in the command that looks pretty cool so and there's molly, molly right there so nice um then it talks about warlord games resins kits and all that just a little brochure there's your woodland indians and then your colonial mission militia and that's uh, about it here go about the hessian infantry yeah pretty much same stuff they all pretty much have the same poses just maybe different hair uh headdresses and all that kind of stuff and then golly look at that man oh and there's your foreground blockhouse mdf nice comes with a wagon right there the wagon looks kind of small but we'll see oh and then it shows you the instructions right here how to build it cool 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 so looking forward to this guys um i thought i'd just do a brief unboxing of this it's been out for a while and um just one of my uh, big projects i'd like to do um for historical miniature gaming here anyways any questions comments advice let me know especially advice if you guys have built this or whatever a lot of patience i'm sure <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot of repetitious work but neat thing is i know it gets kind of boring but once when you finish and you look at that whole army painted and stuff my goodness it looks so cool so alrighty, you guys take care and uh, thanks for watching and uh like subscribe all that stuff i got more on the way um uh, be good out there guys bye